Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be just covering what did I learn in my first term of first year, what are the modules like, what kind of assignments can you expect, and that's about it really from this video. So if I'm looking down here, it just means I'm referring to my notes. Um, so first thing is, what's the, how's it taught? So you get four modules in your first term. Uh, they last from the beginning of October till the second week of December usually and that's all you have to learn at raw hallway you do not get exams in the january period so these exams will be taken in the summer of 20 say 2022 if you started next year um at uni so you know like the next exams are this year 2020 you start next summer um in the summer so 2020 as well your exams will be in 2021 for all eight modules if they're all examination based modules. Um, so the first thing that I learned uh, in my term one was a module called Object Orientated Programming 1. And what this is, is basically the fundamentals of coding and understanding from a basic perspective of how do you write code. You start with exploring pseudocode and understanding how variables are assigned and how people should be thinking when writing code. What's the correct logic in the way you think um, and we basically cover stuff like, you know, for loops, recursions, functions, uh, input streams. So that means taking in reading files, exporting files, you know, manipulating data from files. That's all you'll learn in the first term. It's just really getting you used to the idea of programming. And it's designed for people who've never done programming before, as long as, as well as those who've done programming before. So if you wanted to prepare for this module in advance, potentially start learning Java, that could help a lot because it is very much based around creating objects and using those objects to write your code. It's a different way of coding from perhaps you might have done in the past where you don't actually use objects. That module is 10% coursework and 90% exam. So what that means is you'll be given two assignments in term one. One will be midway through and one will be at the end. They are only worth 5% each. And in the summer of 2021, for example, if you're starting next year, you'll have a exam that's a hand-based Java exam based around this module worth 90%. So that's all I really learned in that module. It's basically the coding module that you look for when you're doing computer science. You have a new way of learning that they've introduced as a module called Programming Lab. So what that is, is that runs every week and you get checked on checkpoints. So they'll give you, say, five tasks for week one. You're expected to complete 20, um, two of those, so 40% of those tasks. But obviously, the more you do, the higher your mark will be at the end. And that's a module that goes alongside object-oriented programming that's based on you improving your skills weekly. That one is 40% lab work and 60% a team project where you'll have to create something together, I believe. But uh, I haven't done that module, so my information on that one might be wrong. And I don't actually know too much about it because it was a much different um, way of learning when I was doing my first year. The next module that I learned in my first year was called Mathematical Structures. So what is Mathematical Structures? Well. It's designed for people who've never done maths before is, is the good thing. So I never did A-level maths. I just went straight into uni with a economics, physics, and geography A-level. So what this is designed for is teaching you the basics of how sets work, relationships, um, functions, and cardinality. So those four things are the majority of the coursework, coursework-related activities and what the module is based around. But towards the end of the term, you'll also start learning about probabilities using graphs and proof by induction for all of these different concepts. So you should be able to use these programming concepts that you've learned in object-oriented programming to help you understand the mathematical reasoning behind these concepts, essentially is what's happening here. Uh, that one, similarly again, is 10% coursework, so you're given two assignments, one midway through the term, one at the end of the term, based around what you're studying. You know, there'll just be questions and you answer the questions to achieve out of 100% for the 5%. So, and then you'll have a 90% exam in the summer of 2021 designed around 
all of the basically what you learn. So one of the tricky things I found was you do these modules in December and you stop. And from January till, you know, May, you learn new things, but you still have to remember your old things because you're still being examined on them in the summer. So if you want some advice, it would be to make sure you don't forget anything from that first term, which I did. So I had to relearn those modules again from scratch, essentially. The next thing you will learn in first term is a module called software design. So what is software design? Well, this is understanding the software development process from a management point of view. So, you know, writing user stories, use cases, writing requirements for coursework. Um, you're given in this module a very theor theoretical approach to computer science and how things should be done. You'll learn about models such as the waterfall, the agile, agile methods, Scrum. And it's very much based around you're doing all this coding, but there needs to be a system in place of how do you write this code and how do you process through tasks efficiently in a workplace. It's a very useful module and I use those skills that I learned from that module in my current job that I have um, part time. This module is a very nice one. It is 60% coursework. You'll be given basically a team project throughout the term and you work with a bunch of people to take a idea that's a design brief saying I want to produce something. Can you write me up the user stories, use cases, requirements for that? Can you explain how you're going to do the methodology for this? And you're basically just setting up someone the things they need to write code for this efficiently. And that's 60% coursework. And then in the summer, you'll give it an exam based around these concepts for 40%. And those four modules are essentially all that you learn at Raw Holloway during your first term. So the reason I'm dividing it into term one and two is there's a lot of content to cover. Um, so just to recap, four modules, object oriented programming, mathematical structures, programming lab, software design. Programming, object oriented programming and mathematical structures are 90% exam, 10% coursework. Software design is 60% coursework and 40% exam and then the labs are just labs that you go to and you get marked from how much work you do. That is all you will learn in your first term at Royal Holloway so if you are going there next year it's a great uni and you actually do learn a lot of skills over the two years and you become a pretty good programmer if you put in the work obviously. So if you have any questions with the anything I've covered today just pop in the comments below and I always check them I always get notifications on my phone when anyone comments. But apart from that, I hope you all enjoy this video and you have fun coding.